Welcome to the channel guys. We are back again and we're going to be doing a top seven pick with Kate. Hi guys, I'm back. You might remember me from earlier videos or not. Probably not. Yeah, so she came on once when I actually was visiting in Japan and we did a um, an episode similar to this with more summery fragrances. This is a mixture, but it is mostly fragrances that are better for fall and winter. So we're going to see which ones she likes and which ones she does not. Also, we're not in Japan anymore, so maybe that's going to affect things. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Different air, <laughs> different humidity. Whatever. Okay. So, simple. We're going to go through, get the first impressions, and then come back to them when they've dried down a little bit, see which ones she likes the most. And the first one is going to be B by Zoologist. This is a new release, just released in December 2019. Doesn't it skew the results that I can see the perfumes? Do you know any of these perfumes? No. Nope. There you go. <laughs> so, there you go. Okay, this smells really sweet. Almost gingerbread-y. There is ginger in it, actually. I get a lot of ginger in the opening yeah. of that one. Yeah, it smells like gingerbread cookies, actually. A little too sweet, almost. Okay. I get a lot of waxiness. Like uh, candle wax? Yeah, there's beeswax in that. And to me, the beeswax is actually one of the actually, stronger Actually, yes, things. I can smell beeswax, yeah. But ginger, too. So, that's B. I actually think that one's pretty good for the winter. This one actually would be better for the spring. Um, or... Summer, this is After Sunset by Killian. This is also a fairly new release, which is one of the reasons I wanted to include it. Let's spray the front of it. This smells a little bit citrusy. It's a very sharp, um, almost sour kind of smell. So yeah. maybe like lemon or Lime. There's light lychee or lychee. Oh yes, one? lychee. Yes, that's yeah. what it smells like. So there's lychee in that. That's very strong in the opening. I also get that sharpness. I like it because it has like a sharp greenness to it, which I really enjoy. But uh, that's that one. Next one is Absolutio. This is from Navis. This is uh, by Stephen. So this is also a new release. So I've included so that. So is this like a winter theme or? Yeah, definitely. So... <laughs> you don't so like this, it. It smells like, you know, if you spray an air freshener in your shoes, and then, you know, it kind of takes a little time, to, you know, to air out. So then, like, you know, the original yuckiness of the shoe is coming back, but you can still smell the perfume. This is what wow. that smells like. I mean, there's something sweet about it. Um, maybe a little bit of a pear. There's a cherry in okay, there, maybe. A cherry. And so there is a bit of fruitiness, but overall, it's it's undercut by something bitter, something. There's bitter. a lot of cinnamon and saffron. I'm not getting that at all. To me, that's kind of like the spiciness. That's what I get from that one. Yeah. Well. Do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> that's too bad. I like that one. Uh, okay, so this one is Enigma Parfum Cologne, also a new release. Also better for, I mean, you could maybe wear this in the spring. I wouldn't wear this one in the summer, but this is definitely a fall-winter winner for me. Okay, this one's really nice. Um, it's sweet. Um, there's something fruity about it. Um, a little bit Christmassy. Um, maybe apples? Or... Do you get... So some people say there's like a Coca-Cola vibe in the Yes, opening. absolutely. Yes, Coke and apples. I, okay. I don't really get the apples. It's got a lot of tobacco in it. And... I think once you mention Coke, it's kind of hard not to smell that. The cola doesn't last that long. I kind of wish the cola lasted a little bit longer. But to me, I mean, there's, there is vanilla in it. And I think benzoin or something, and both are, can be quite sweet, so that might be... It actually smells like cherry cola. That's what it smells like. Maybe like Dr. Pepper. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That's fair enough. 
I definitely get the cool vibe. This one is Rude Elements. This was the first release from Kerosene. Um, let's see how this one goes off. It's also got oud in it. Oh, it's oud. It's wood. Oh. It's a kind of, it's a, it's a particular kind of wood that is used in a lot of perfumery. Um, a lot more it's been like used in Eastern perfumery more so, but it's definitely become a lot more popular in Western perfumery. This is actually the first time I've smelled this one, uh, but given that it has oud in it, I just think it's probably better for the colder weather. It's nice, interesting. It still smells very citrusy to me, like a very light, sharp um, fragrance. I mean, definitely this wouldn't be like a winter fragrance to me. This would be spring, like early summer. It is fairly fresh. I, feel like I actually agree like with you. There's a lot of fresh. Like there is a lot of freshness in this. But I do get the oud in it. I guess you don't know what oud smells like, but I definitely get that oud vibe. I smell more like flower, like more flowery, maybe like freesia. I actually don't know the notes on this one. But it's interesting. And yeah, I think you're right. This is mu much fresher. So perhaps better, actually perhaps better for the spring and uh, summer. This is also another new release. This is Byron Mad. And this is a limited edition. I don't know if they even still have any left, uh, but I have a sample here. Actually, if I remember, because I have smelled this, this one is a little bit fresher. Compared to the previous one, or in general? Just in general. Yeah, that one, I mean, that one you probably could wear in the spring. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's fresher than the previous one. It has less bitterness. Mm. I'm again getting some kind of like a lemon or lime type of citrus. Maybe. But it also smells a little bit generic, like if you imagine a very, I don't know, just generic, um, citrusy, kind of fresh smell of a perfume, that's what it smells like. It's not a scent that like lingers or is somehow unique. That's actually the feeling I had with this fragrance, is that it had a very no generic yeah, type of generic. DNA to it. And this is a little bit disappointing because the notes on this one I actually really like. It has like boozy notes and other things like that, but it doesn't come across very much like that. I get a very kind of generic, fresh vibe. Okay, this one is called Freud. It's by Svensk Parfum. I'll tell you, well, you'll see in a bit. I, no, I won't say anything. There we go. It reminds me of something, I just can't quite put my finger on what that is. Licorice? Not licorice. Okay. It smells it like looks, licorice to me. Is it like strawberry? Um, there's cherry in that one. Okay, a cherry, a strawberry, um, some kind of a red fruit. Yeah. It, to me it smells like cherry Maybe licorice. Maybe like a berry compote? I can't figure out which one I'm smelling right now, but something is very strong. <laughs> So this one, if you, this actually to me smells kind of like Twizzlers. It smells a lot like Twizzlers. I like it, but it does smell like Twizzlers. Yeah, some kind of a red fruit. Um, I would also say it's a kind of feminine. Yes. It smells like food, I guess. Yeah. But it's supposed to, if I recall correctly, smell like a Swedish dessert tree that has cherry in it. And so that's probably why it has a foody smell. But to me, again, it smells a lot like cherry or Twizzlers. This last one, I have not smelled this one at all. Velvet Vanilla, I think it's Mansara. And this was given by uh, the Scented Engineer. So thank you for sending this this way. But let's see what it smells like. This is definitely, if I recall, going to be one that's for the winter. It's not even what I was expecting. Does it not smell like vanilla? I mean, there's a lot going on there. 
I guess I was expecting more like just vanilla, but I think there's a lot of other stuff happening. I do smell a little bit of vanilla, but there's also something like a um, alt, like some kind of an all spice, like a cakey, um, maybe even like a carrot cake smell. Actually, I love carrot cakes. Yeah, that's what it smells like. Mm, I can't quite put my finger on what but I'm smelling there. It definitely smells like some kind of a pastry. Okay, so we're going to go back, smell all of them, and pick a top three. Are we picking top three for the winter or just in general? Just the fact? three that you think smell the best out of these okay. three. Out of these more than three. So, in an unprecedented event... We... Dun, 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 dun. Or should I say... Dun, dun, dun. Kate couldn't actually pick three that she liked. Dun, dun, dun. So, <laughs> we're going to add two new ones to the uh to the to the mix i feel like so you the, did this on purpose you just like you I, picked all the no. ones you knew i would hate and um i thought you would like maybe b and i was hoping you would like freud i knew you'd probably like enigma i was hoping you'd like absolutio i was hoping you'd like Af is absolutio the one that like <laughs> absolutely hated <laughs> yes it is okay so this is from atier and it's Pomelo Paradise. This one's not a, uh, this is absolutely not a winter fragrance. It's a fresh, summery fragrance. All right. Um, it smells like a margarita, actually. It smells really, very, like extremely limey, like a margarita. Maybe some kind of a flower. So I get a huge dose of like grapefruit in this one. Mm. It's a little bit bitter, but it's also quite sweet. It's um, not bad, yeah. And then so the next one, a maybe. maybe. Don't turn it upside down yet. We gotta come back to it in a bit. And then the next one is from Hermes, and it's Eau de Citron Noir. This one reminds me of the, the Freud one, or... Does it really? Yeah. I think your nose is broken. <laughs> so to me, this is more like a licorice. This one, I as maybe one. the name... It, it reminds me of another one I smelled earlier. Maybe. It does remind me of another fragrance, but you not one of these ones. Side by side. No way. There's no way. Because I kind of like the Citron one. Uh, yeah, I can see. I mean, there's like a similar DNA there. Mm -hmm. But this one actually, to me, I, I like this one. This one's a little darker. So it has incense in it. There's a bit of bitterness too. So I actually, I like that one, personally. You don't. No. <laughs> no, so I think we're going to have to wait, go wait, to wait. the one before it. Maybe. We'll be back. Yeah. We're going to do a recap of everything now. Okay. Now that we're done bashing Byron, man. Okay. <laughs> now that we're done bashing Byron, man. Back to the episode. So we've settled on a top three. Um, so number three was Velvet Vanilla by Mansara. What did you like about that one? So, I mean, for the holidays especially, it smells like something sweet. Um, it smells like, I don't know, when your grandma's cooking... Or just baking cookies, actually. I get the like, florals, actually, in this one. I feel like the floral, florals are coming out more now yeah. than initially. But it still has, like, to me, again, the first association was carrot cake. And that's what I'm still smelling. So it's a very kind of, like, comforting, sweet fragrance. Yeah, but I wouldn't wear this past holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely better for the cold weather, I think. Okay, next one. So this one was the Enigma or Creation Enigma. E, which is 
Coca-Cola and tobacco and vanilla, but what did you like about this one? I think actually, yeah, the Coca-Cola um, fragrance part of it is um, it's quite unique. I don't think I've smelled um, anything like it. Um, very fresh. Um, I feel like almost like an element of the rain. Like that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, just very fresh, very light. Uh, maybe something you could wear to the gym. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I'd wear it to the gym personally, but it is fresh. There's a freshness. This is like a new line that he created called the Parfum Cologne line. So the idea is that he has these fragrances in a parfum and they're a lot more thick and heavy. And these are supposed to be fresher and lighter takes, right? So I do like that one. I'm happy I picked that one up. And this last one was uh, Atier Pomelo Paradise. Yes, so this one has the freshest, the most kind of margarita, limey um, sort of, you know, scent to it. Um, definitely um, something perhaps for the warmer weather, um, something to wear in the evening. If you're going out for a stroll, um, you know, maybe just grabbing some you know, drinks with a couple of friends. It's definitely a warm weather friend. So this one is because it is fairly heavy citrus. You just wouldn't even smell it in the in the winter, probably. But it's very fresh. I like it too. I get a lot of grapefruit on this one. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit bitter, and I love the smell of grapefruit. I think it's just because it reminds me of eating grapefruit in the morning. I can't quite smell the grapefruit, but definitely a citrus of some sort. Have you guys smelled any of these fragrances? Let me know in a comment down below which ones you like. And subscribe. And as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.